all today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i'm a crew tv youtuber does a lot of makeup content and today i'm doing a video and doing a look with two palettes from nabla it's the two dreamy palettes so their first eyeshadow palette it must be <laughs> that was the dreamy palette it's purpley neutral it's a neutral palette with maybe a pop of purple and one of their maybe not newer now but dreamy two palette that is a little bit darker a little bit more shimmers and yeah so i'm going to do a look with these two today and this actually came i've done two instagram lives <laughs> in both of that the in both of them i did look with the side by side palette from nabla i do love this palette and we were talking in that live that i should do a look with these two so i'm doing that today so i think we just get started i think i might cl clip up my hair Let's take the my hair away from my face just for now and um, yeah i think we just get started with this so okay if you have ever been here on my channel before i talk about nabla that i really do love their palettes and i really really do this dreamy palette i haven't used that much because i just don't know what to do with it and this dreamy too i do really love it but i am I have a little bit of hard time to play with this. I think I've done a get rid with me not that long ago with this one. I need to not set my eyeshadow primer too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do use this loss today. I think I think I want to start with the dream palette, and I think I want to go in with. I think I'm going to take Lullaby actually and take it in my crease. I think I want to do some what of more of a purple leaning look. Who am I? It feels like I'm getting into purple now. Don't know when this happened. I don't know what happened, but I think I'm trying to find my kind of purple. It feels like it has been a lot of green looks the latest and. I remember when I like started my channel and I did say that I did not like green and now I don't know how I could say that but I did not do that and something that I feel like I need to do soon is to do really like orange look because it feels like I have lost touch with orange a little bit. Orange is one of my like absolutely favorite eyeshadow looks to do just because it goes really really good with my blue eyes. I almost said with my orange eyes. Um, but I haven't done an orange look in a while. Not that long ago I did a Nabla week. My second Nabla week I did a week with only the cutie palettes and that was fun but I think I like realized that these theme weeks um, I can do them and I'm going to do more but I can't push myself to do like a seven day theme week because it's just it is just too much and I'm not this December going to do uh, 31 days of videos I didn't do it last year because I got sick and it was so so annoying I think I put up like 25 videos in December last year and it was supposed to be 31 and I was just so annoyed that I didn't manage to do it 
but at the same time I can't help to get sick. Okay, it's now I don't I did not think this through. I want something really dark, but it's not like dark matte in either of these palettes, like the way I want to go. Okay, so I actually think that I will go in with Dogma. I don't think it's that deep though, but take Dogma and Inception and try to concentrate it on my outer corner of the eye. And then I want to go in with some shimmer in this one. I don't know which one. I don't know if I want to take this Mirabilia or maybe Hidden Place. This looks like a duochrome. I don't, okay, this looks amazing. I don't know if you can see. But like, will this go? But like, okay, do I even care right now? Okay. I think I got it. I think I got what I want to do. And I'm just feeling so disoriented. I <laughs> have started to film my decluttering videos. I'm going to do a decluttering videos on my whole like makeup collection. And I did start with some of my base products. I don't think though that video is up yet and now it's just chaotic on my table. I have so much stuff everywhere and I don't know where to put it. Like my, I'm going to do the cluttering of my lipsticks. That is the next step in my decluttering. And as for right now, I have lip lipsticks everywhere and it's driving me nuts. It like I move something and lipsticks is just starting to roll around everywhere. I don't know how it happened. I don't know where all the lipsticks come from. And I don't know what I was thinking with buying so many lipsticks. But yeah, because I did have them. Um together. I have a little cart next to me, you can't see it, where I have some of my base products and my makeup brushes and my camera and some hair things. And I just put a lot of my lipsticks over there because they didn't fit anywhere else. But now I <laughs> cleaned that little cart, so I just put the lipsticks on the table and having lipsticks on the table when you have two cats that love to take things, it is not a good idea. Okay, this shade was actually a little bit darker than I thought or remembered because I think I've used this. It is Dogma, this one. But I'm just happy that it is a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. And okay, about the cats. I guess you know that I'm a crazy cat lady and our cats, and mostly Astrid. She is a main coon, and uh, she's been in some of my videos. She, she's a white main coon, and she's getting kind of big. And she is death, 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 death. She can't hear. I don't know. I have so much problems with pronouncing that word, death. And um, I don't know if you know this, but having a cat that can't hear, and I think this is pretty common with cats. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go in with this hidden place on my lid, the rest of my lid, and maybe blend it into the brown together with this inception. Showing things so great. Uh, but yeah cats and I guess it goes for dogs as well that can't hear they are a little bit clumsy 
And when you're having a big cat, a Maine Coon, and she's not full grown yet, but she's she's pretty big and clumsy, it is not a good combo. And I can't like have the <laughs> lipstick standing up on the table because they are going to be everywhere in the morning. Uh, so that is just impossible. And also, she's starting to do a new thing, and we. We don't know why she do this, but in our bathroom we have this stand where we have the toilet papers, so all the toilet ro rolls, and uh, she takes them. She like flips that over and takes the toilet rolls and walk around with them everywhere. Yesterday we were watching TV and she just came from the bathroom carrying a toilet roll and we're like what the hell are you doing why why are you taking this and where do you think you're going with it and it's like every day when I come home from work it's like okay where has she put the toilet paper and I don't know why she has started to do this but she likes to take things I don't know if your cats are the same And we can't like leave anything on the table when we go to bed at night. One evening my boyfriend forgot about a package with spaghetti. And we woke up and heard like something is going on in the hallway. And yeah, we came out, it was spaghetti all over the floor, Astrid had like spaghetti hanging out of her mouth and I don't know why she's doing this. She has a lot of toys that she can take and we play with them before we go to bed, but she's just like... She loves to take things. She's a cle kleptomania. I don't know if that is the English word. But she just takes things. And I don't know what's up with her. And Ines, it's the, our other cat, she's a ragdoll. And she's not as big as Astrid, not yet at least. Um, she also takes some things. But not as big things and not quite as much as Astrid is doing and it is like what are you two doing a little story about Ines then it was a couple of weeks ago we had eaten potatoes the day before and apparently we didn't take all the potatoes off the table because I was sitting on the toilet the morning after before work and then Ines comes into the bathroom with a potato. And I was like, where the hell did you find this potato? So I took the potato. She went out to the kitchen again, come back with another potato. And I was like, where the hell are you getting the potatoes from? I don't know. And she always puts everything in the shower. Like you have to clean the shower before you are taking a shower and she usually puts her toys in the showers and she also Ines taking things to bed. I don't know how many times when I've woken up in the morning and I like feel maybe something fluffy against my feet and I'm like this is not a cat. No, it's a mouse. Okay, I don't know about this look. Maybe if I put something in my inner corner, like to lighten it up a little bit, I might like it more because now I think it's turning out a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. And I, I know that I complained at the beginning of this look that I didn't have enough dark shades. 
You don't have to remind me about that. But it's not bad. It's just not what maybe I was thinking that I wanted to have. I think I might take this lucid dream in my inner corners. But I will actually fix my base of cam and make my under eyes and then I might fix the rest of the look of cam. I don't know. I will see what I feel. And yeah, I really need to um, coloring my eyebrows. Do you see them? No, because they are like in invisible. Really need to color them. So, okay, I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back. This is the finished look. For my waterline, I took Amethyst Hour from Colourpop, and on my lips, I took one of the new from Kaleidos. Mine, for some reason, doesn't have a name. I think it was called Mercury Wave or something, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I will have it down in the description because mine are missing names for some reason. And yeah, this is my look with my two or with the two dreamy palettes from Nabla. I do really like these palettes, even though this first dreamy is a little bit more maybe like purple than I usually like. But I do like it that I think it's a really good quality. So I used Lullaby, Dogma and Inception from this one. And... It is a really good quality on this palette. And from the Dreamy 2, I used Hidden Place and Lucid Dream. And, and yeah, I do really like this look. I, I don't know, but like purple is starting to grow on me. Now it only feel like I have blue left that is not one of my favorite colors to wear. I I just don't like blue yet. Maybe it's going to be my mission to start to like blue. So yeah. I guess that also for this video. It was fun to play with dreamy palettes more and I really want to get more looks out of the dreamy too, but it's not I don't know. I am going to be honest that I do really like how this look, but I do really have some problems with coming up with looks. I don't know if it is. It has like three matte ones that are like really, that it really is matte. And then it has some of these. I think they were called latex. Like it is a matte but it's not i don't know <laughs> but yeah I, I having a hard time to do looks with this even though i really like the color story but i'm going to figure this out and i might just use it together with other palettes i don't know yet but yeah this is my nabla dreamy look i do like it i really do Maybe it became a little bit more darker than like I first wanted it to be, but I don't actually care. <laughs> I still like it. So yep, that was all for my dream look with the Nabla palettes. And when I'm filming this, Nabla is going to, I think in about 20 hours, going to, uh, what is it even called? Going to reveal reveal yeah reveal something new and i'm so excited <laughs> yeah. i do really hope that you like this video i know that you usually like when i play with nabla and i know that a lot of you do really like these palettes from nabla and i hope that i could give a somewhat an inspiration and uh, yeah that was all for this video i really hope you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye!